going to start here with Matt. And this is Pete. Good morning. <laughs> so, Matt, your 15 seconds of fame. Tell us about yourself. Uh, so, my name is Matthew Thomas Brown. I'm 16, and I run a Raspberry Pi YouTube channel called the Raspberry Pi Guy. And today, I've bought a robot which I've made completely from scratch based around the Raspberry Pi. Very cool. Okay, moving on to Alex Ames. Hello, I'm Alex Eames from Raspberry TV. I expect a few people will laugh hearing that because that's how I start with my videos. I have a, a blog and a YouTube channel and I've brought some demos here today. I've got a, a, a nice Wii controller robot which is running off a A+. Plus, which is rather fun. If anybody wants to have a go with that, come and grab me afterwards. I've also got a little Raspberry Pi based camcorder here which can be used to film things and take photographs. I also have a few products and things of my own. This is a, a recent board that I launched on Kickstarter, uh, which finished a couple of weeks ago and did quite well. So, cool. thank you, Alex. Great stuff. Moving on to the Pie Shop guys. This is Jesse. Hey, I'm Jesse. I'm one of the co-founders of PyTop. This is John, part of the PyTop team. Uh, we make Raspberry Pi based laptops and, uh, and desktops. So uh, you can just pop your new Raspberry Pi 3 in here. It's got 12 hours of battery life, a 13.3 inch HD screen. And yeah, the cool thing about these is when a new Pi comes out, you just take the old one out, put the new one in, and it works. Great stuff. And we're going to be selling these very soon, RS as well, Yeah, which is great. So okay, moving on to Alex, Alex Gibson. Alex, show us your Pi Power 3D printer. Hello, so I'm Alex Gibson. I'm a 3D printing and maker technologies consultant. And I've designed a totally parametric 3D printer that you can really build around any specific 3D printing application. And here I'm trying to make it much more reliable and trivially easy to get files onto by using a Raspberry Pi 3 and OctoPrint uh, to make it web enabled. Great stuff. Thank you, Alex. Moving on to Michael. Michael's also a maker, has some great projects here today. Michael, show us what you've got. Uh, uh, this is one I'm particularly proud of. It's uh, called the Pi Corder. It's a box full of sensors, gas sensors, GPS, uh, barometer, um, and just various LEDs just to make it look pretty. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Moving on to Dave Aikerman here. Dave helped us put Superman into space a couple of years back. Uh, Dave, tell us about your projects. Uh, I have one of those engineers that was caught up on BBC Micro and uh, had a latent requirement for, for the uh, power when it came out. Um, so since it came out, I've been slinging them up into uh, near space, into the stratosphere. Um, and on the table here, we've got three of the uh, high-powered um, uh, space travellers that I've sent out. We've got TARDIS, uh, one of the first ones, uh, Babbage Bear, which uh, that's the original Babbage that uh, jumped from 31 metres above uh, Felix Baumgartner's record. Because I've been beaten by that Google guy, so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> have another go sometime. Very good. Thank you, Dave. We'll just wander down the other end here. Start with Andy Stanford Clark. Hi, I'm Andy Stanford Clark, a distinguished engineer for IBM for the Internet of Things. Uh, we've been using Raspberry Pis to integrate IoT applications, particularly linking them uh, with Node-RED, the application that IBM developed uh, for easy programming for Internet of Things applications. This is the Isle of Wight ferries going backwards and forwards between the Isle of Wight and Southampton. You can see the red jets here. I live on the Isle of Wight, so this is particularly handy for me commuting. This is showing how much power my house is using, green at the moment, so that's good. <laughs> and I also have the, uh, the world's first hydrogen-powered Raspberry Pi 3, powered from a hydrogen fuel cell, and this will be integrating data from the Internet of Things up to the IBM Watson IoT platform. Fantastic. Thank you, Andy. And moving on to Stuart here. Stuart has a Raspberry Pi selfie camera. So I'm a Design Spark blogger, and uh, David brought along a demo unit. It's doing uh, face detection, and it, and it automatically takes a picture of you and then sends it over to another pie, so we can do some demos a bit later on with that. Fantastic. And moving on to Lucy, I guess, now. Oh. Well, go ahead and uh, do you want to show your demo? Oh, okay, here I've got a dinosaur that you can tweet with the hashtag WakeDino, and he nods. A light that lights up when the International Space Station goes over, and a bigger dinosaur, and I'll be talking about those later. 